yo 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 what is up it's your girl lex and i'm back with another video and as you can also see queens i got my manifest queen be small shirt if y'all see i have to throw on my lip gloss you know i don't play by my lip back guys again thank you for joining um to go off of what i was just talking about uh this is my lip gloss from via Cole. i'm not sure if you can see the name but it is femi for tail. I hope I didn't just slater that name, slaughter, but I believe that's what it's called. Thanks, girl. Okay, so boom. Let's have a, we're gonna have a girl guide encouragement talk. Cause I feel like it's needed, sis. And if you anything like me, I love me some Jesus and he be giving me right. So again, make sure to like, subscribe, comment below. Let me know how you like this video. And here we go. A God like Christian like talk and encouragement talk um, you know what I'm saying like just to get our minds right ready for the upcoming week um, makeup Monday pool I'm here with you okay we're gonna do a makeup Monday slay honey and uh, let's get into I like to go with the flow guys sometimes there's no rhyme or reason I just go with what I feel so let's get into these brows and let's start with our oh this is hard now can y'all see bah. Anastasia Dip Brow. Color Ebony. Period. So as actually I don't think I have mentioned this to y'all. Um well let's get into the brows. But I um I have been growing out my brows for like probably over a year now. As you can see, this one's probably a little bit more full. This one's a little bit more sparse. Um, girl, it's a whole story behind <laughs> that. I had very thick brows as a child. Very thick. However, and we're going to go ahead and use our pomade using our little angle brush right here to dip into my pomade. I just like to go ahead and put it on my hand like that. And then I like to close it back up because, girl, I be trying to save my product. I actually got this um, from a client of mine who did a one-on-one. -on -one. And, girl, after the one-on-one, -on -one, the client was so nice to me that she was like, you know what? I bought this. I have an extra one. Would you like it? I'm like, yes. Yes, I want it. I say yes, I want it, girl. Absolutely. So she gave it to me, and I've had it ever since, girl. And it's been almost two years. And let me show you how much I got left up in here, okay? Okay, I got like, boom, can you see that? Over half still left. <laughs> Honey, I don't waste a thing. I make sure I stretch, stretch it out. Stretch out the money, stretch out, stretch it out. We gonna stretch. Gotta do what I gotta do, sis. And this thing ain't cheap. Shout out to you, babes. Um, I cannot think of her name right now, but shout out to you because this has been a blessing to my soul period but anyways girl back into what i was um in the middle of telling you is a uh, yeah as a child i have very thick brows so right now uh i'm going to go ahead and i like to fill in the brow that has more because as y'all can see once this comes back in the way i need it to the brow gonna be nice and right but um, until it does, I just have to kind of, you know what I'm saying, I like to fill in the good brow, then I go in on the bad brow to mimic the good brow. That's how I get the brows. But yeah, so anyways, girl, like I was saying, um, I used to have real thick brows as a child. Everybody's always like, oh yeah, you know, it's mama. Oh, she has such pretty brows. Don't ever let her touch her brows. Don't ever. She got such perfect brows. And what I do? Let somebody touch my brows, the wrong person, too many times, and they made them thin. Fuck me up. Yeah, but it's all good. You can't hold a real one down for too long, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just trying to do what I got to do, sis. And uh, during this quarantine, it's been amazing because, first of all, girl, before the quarantine, <laughs> I was not getting my brows touched up or done. I do not care. Like probably add hey girl i probably don't care too much you feel me um i need to probably care more but i don't and it's been working and it's been helping me fill in the brows um girl they're gonna be a little bit rugged but if the end result is me getting them back on fleek 
sweetie i'm gonna do what i got right now y'all might be like whoa the brow is really thick whoa 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 what's going on so what's going on is we gotta fill in i sometimes even have to over exaggerate with my brows again being real all over the place i have to do what i gotta do fill them in first and then we gonna go in with that concealer and ah, then we gonna have the perfect brows so i've done this brow gonna brush it out and now we're gonna switch to this brow okay and so now since i have the other brow filled in i'm just kind of trying to fill in the second brow um i do have i do have two totally different um shapes of brows so again you might have to over dramatize if you're like me but another thing about me y'all sweetie i make up my own words but the cool thing about my words is you'll probably catch on and you'll be like i kind of know what she's talking about i don't think that's a word but i think i know what she's talking about you know what i'm saying y'all catch on it's me baby i can't help it i gotta think of the words i talk fast whatever comes to the mind and whatever clicks it makes sense to me and i just hope it be clicking and making sense for other motherfuckers and if you don't get it, oh well, sweetie, it might just not be for you to get, you feel me? But right now, um, y'all see me just brushing out the brows. And then um, I'm going to go ahead and go in with the concealer. These are my two concealers, um, Beauty Supply Store. Girl, you will hear me when we do our makeovers, sweetie. I don't discriminate. I don't discriminate one bit. One is almond, sweetie. One is soft. That's the colors. And uh, what I do, I take my little concealer type brush, you feel me, and mix up those two colors together. That's how I get the color that I like. I also will be doing the same for my foundation. Stay tuned for that. But for right now, I'm just mixing them together. But like I was saying, sweetie, I don't care. All the expensive brands, this might be contrary to what you've heard, but I always say some of my stuff, as you saw, I have the Anastasia Dip Brow, cool. But I also got my pencils from, you know what I'm saying, the beauty supply store. Yes, you heard me right, the beauty supply store, sweetie, the one right up the street in the hood, around the corner, or a couple of blocks up, beauty supply store, date one, <laughs> the date, the date's one. Yep, that way, and uh... I'm sure you'll see it's going to do just a fine job, okay? Period. So now what you see me doing is just taking that concealer and shaping the brow how I want. The flat brush is awesome for that. I love this brush. I don't know how I would do my brows without it. Uh, it took me a while to find it. But again, <laughs> beauty supply. Store, store, store. Sometimes, as you see, I just I'll go back in again, just to make sure that I got everything, um, all the corners that I wanted to hit and get smooth out and around, so that I can now go ahead and I get perfectionist mode. I'll go ahead and go in on the top as soon as I get done with it. Now, as you guys can see, sis. Um, I went ahead and you can see the brow is starting to come a little bit more together. So still a little bit thick right now. I do have thicker type brows, of, of, especially if I were to go ahead and fully fill it in and grow it out the way it's supposed to be. However, sister girl, we're going to go ahead and um, start getting this brow together, shaping him up. And this is the more thinner brow. I'm going to go ahead and shape up this brow and then from shaping this brow up. Um, and as we just already started, the same thing that we did on this side is always going to be the same thing that we do on the other so i'm just going to go ahead and keep dragging the concealer as you see um until i get the shape that i want on both the bottom and the top okay periods we pretty much got the eyebrows the brows on fleek you heard so now i'm gonna go ahead and take my little fluffy brush that i started to do already and Go ahead and as you can see, I'm just blending it out. I am dragging it down onto the eyelid as well as you can see. Um, and from there, we're going to drag it all the way down onto the eyelid. We're going to glue up top 
And as you can see, I'm just doing like a blending motion, like up and out uh, onto the forehead because girl, one thing we do not want, we do not want um, our brows not to look nice and, you know what I'm saying, uh, blended out. The worst thing is to see that little weird little, <laughs> I don't know what to call it, this little space in between when like, it's just like not blended and things and such. It's not cute, that's not what we want. So I'm gonna blend this out, keep dragging it down onto the eyelid. And then from there, um, we're gonna go ahead and put our powder to set. All right, so boom, right? Everything's blended, giving very much ghost vibes, just a tad. <laughs> No shade to myself, but it's the truth. But we do have the brows nice and blended out. We are gonna go ahead and take this Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder. Powder. And set the lids, as you see. Setting the lids just means simply by taking a powder, pressing that in and onto the lid to basically um kind of mattify and set the eye and as you can see it's like we're starting with a nice blank palette as if we were doing art because makeup is art sweetie um nice fresh blank palette is nice and pressed out with our powder and now we're going to add our eyeshadow okay so now basically i'm gonna go ahead and take my brush random brush by moda moda and I'm gonna go ahead and go into one of my Morphe palettes that you can see is very well used, very much used um, as fuck. And we're gonna go ahead and go in with a more like, I'm looking at him right here, kinda him. I don't know what color he is, but we're gonna go ahead and apply that. But I do wanna do a look that kinda goes with the shirt. So definitely gonna get some pink vibes in there, but. We're going to start with the um, brown color here. So I'm just going to be taking that brown. And as you can see, you kind of can't see. Um, and that's kind of the point because I, like I said, want to kind of do a look, including some of that pink. So that's going to take me adding a transition color. That's what we call this. And you can see that it's showing up a bit you know, in comparison to even this eye. And uh, now we're gonna go ahead and do the same on this eye over here, the same color. Everything we do on one side, we must do to the other. Facts. So I'm going into our Juvia's Palace, I got my pink. So I'm gonna go ahead and just dab that pink on. It does have a bit of a shimmer in it, which I love. And as you can see, we're just gonna be patting it onto the eye. Uh, and then in a moment, you'll see me start to blend it up. So as we are adding and blending and adding and blending, we'll go ahead and get into our little talk. Um, I just really wanted to say God is good. Even through this pandemic, God has been really, 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 really good. I don't know about you, sis, but he's been good. Um, those of you guys that know me, I am a huge believer of Christ. Um, I love God. I love everything he's done for me, that he's done for my family, those around me. Um, I know that he's real and I know that he works. Um, and I'm not talking about just any God. I'm talking about God, the Lord, Jesus Christ. He's amazing and he will work wonders in your life, girl. And I am reliant on him every day more and more and more i need them period it's what it is um yeah i very much grew up in um religion um believing in god i was i went to like all christian grade schools middle school the whole i went to the same grade school middle school from first grade all the way through um went to a christian high school as well like god is definitely very very much a big part part of my everyday life period all the time but you know if i'm gonna be real like if we gonna get real real girl being a christian is really hard <laughs> why is being a christian really hard well first of all god already told us it was going to be hard to be 
a follower of Christ, right? He warned us of that. He told us that. In part, the reason why he told us that is because look at how they did Jesus. If you're anything into the Bible or have read it, you know they persecuted him. They did Jesus wrong. Sweetie, the savior of the world, wronged. His own disciples, his own, his mans, his own mans, wrong. The ones closest to you betrayed him with a kiss, wrong. What? I could go on and on. They nailed him to a cross, wrong. Spit on him and persecuted him, wrong. And he had the power to get off that cross. And he stayed because he loves us that much. That's love. And because of that love, he asks us to love others. And because of that love that he showed for us, we have eternal life always. Don't let anybody ever tell you different. That by itself, girl, is enough to get me excited. Okay? Period. Poo. And lastly, before we get into these eyelashes, now that we have these uh, lids nice and pretty blended out, I have the pink kind of how I want it. I did just want to encourage you, sisters, and even some of the bros, if you might be tuning in with me, just know God is real. He always works. And you can always call on him at any time. And anything you need him to do, if you believe in it and you ask him, because that's what he wants us to do. Since we are Christians and we have that never-ending love, he also gave us power and authority. So anything you want, anything you need, anything that you, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just needed in your life. Ask and you will receive. Consistently pray. Pray without cease. That's the key, sis. Just want to encourage you. He's real. He'll do it period okay so now again like i was saying i'm gonna go ahead and apply my lashes let me go so i'm just gonna be using some kiss lash glue this is black lash glue and i'm basically just taking the lash and i'm just applying the glue to the lash line. you do not want your glue too thick on this lash line you don't want it too thin or else it will not stay you kind of want it just in between and you also just want to kind of wave it around air it out because we need it to you know get a little bit more tacky so that it'll stay and stick to the eye and not where it's just you know flat out wet right now okay so now that our lash is pretty much you know dry i'm sure you can't really see it that well um, i'm gonna go ahead and take that mirror that i've been using and i'm gonna look right down into the mirror like literally look directly down and i'm gonna go ahead and bloop place it right there in the middle as you see and then from there just kind of go ahead and attach it on to okay so boom now that we have the first lash on we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing for this lash and while i'm waiting for it to dry <laughs> i'm gonna address something real quick like i just wanted to address you know what i'm saying shout out to be small i just wanted to say i know this was a couple weeks ago um there's a lot of controversy with miss b simone and her book i um, am a b simone supporter she is an amazing entrepreneur. She has set a lot of goals for herself that she has accomplished and she made a mistake. A mistake. A mistake. Okay, so like she made a mistake. She's a businesswoman. And at the end of the day, real entrepreneurs know you are going to make mistakes. Um, that is a part of the game as well but to openly come out and apologize you know what i mean to her fans to everyone and to explain the mistake um she explained it it made sense and not only did she explain it but she explained it publicly and apologized it was definitely sick to see so many black people you know what i'm saying like trying to tear down another black person another black woman just trying to do her thing uh, i just wanted to stand out and be the one to stand up and out like many others have for this woman and just to let it be known that i'm still a supporter mistakes happen 
can we not address them, move past them? And the fact that she not only has admitted to her mistake, apologized for her mistake, but um, she's also made sure to set up a webinar with a bunch of successful business people. The link is in her bio for you to sign up, for you to be able to, as a business person, woman, man, whatever, to be able to take tips from them, from some of the mistakes they've made, and also just to give you business tips, and it's all free. Um, and that is via from the incident that happened with her book for her fans and for those who are followers of B. Simone to make sure that you don't have to go through the same thing. If that's not love, sweetie, I don't know what is. So shout out again to B. Simone because that right there, sis, that's love. And you litty for that. Period poo. Love you. I will definitely be attending that webinar, sweetie. It's free. Again, it's in B. Simone's bio. Go check it out. Litty City. Period not for right now this is going to be an eyelinerless look and we're going to go ahead and get into our primer to go ahead and prime the face prep it for our foundation and the rest of this look honey she will we'll apply about that much i'm going to go ahead and rub that in like so um, we're going to go ahead and get into our foundation i'm going to be using some l'oreal in fabulous wear makeup uh, I use two different colors and I mix them together because for my skin tone sometimes it's just hard for me to find a solid color so this is the method that I do and I'm going to mix it up I normally use a beauty blender um, but I'm going to use this uh, blending brush I have started getting that blended in and I'm just going to pat it in and blend all over my face okay girl so now as you can see i have my foundation on it is going to be a little bit lighter than the actual color of my skin right now until we go ahead and go in with my um foundation stick which i'm going to use by uh, black radiance beauty um, because i'm going to use this to be contouring with to go ahead and bring the whole look together and it will also help with the um, pigments of my foundation as well and it's going to help to sculpt and shape the face i like to just do the fish face kind of helps me to see where i want to do the shape at or where i want to shape at I like to do it down here as well and a little up here on the forehead too and a little on the sides and now we're gonna blend all of this together so now I'm just gonna be taking this brush and kind of blending up if that makes sense and blending out blending up and out and kind of padding along the way and you'll do the same on the forehead as well. I try to blend it the way I want. I went ahead and went in with the powder. And I'm just gonna set underneath where I put the foundation stick. Like so. Okay. And I'll kind of wipe it off as I go. And set underneath my eyes as well. Onto my nose as well. And do my nose contouring. As you can see, just adding the lines. I like to go a little bit up. Foundation stick is kind of cool because it does give you a little angled brush. Pretty thin, pretty nice uh, at the end of it. So I'm just going to be using that to just lightly go up and down that nose area until it's all blended out the way I would like it to be. So now I'm gonna go ahead and finish setting on the nose. I like to get it as close as possible. So Alright, so now as you guys can see, we got that nice and blended. 
nice and glowy. So I'm just gonna go back in with this type of a brush and I'm going to add some pink to the bottom. I'm gonna add some pink to the bottom of the lid now. We're getting to the end. So I'm just gonna take it and I swear the under eye gets me every time. I'm going to go in, do the same thing on this eye. Like so. And I'm going with this brush. Do a little bit of gold in the corners of my eye. Like such. Ooh, I like it. I like it like that. Yes, now those eyes are popping, honey, even without our eyeliner. And we're going to just add a little bit of that gold to the nose just a tad. I like to add a little bit of shimmer and shine. Adding that same highlight pop over here on the cheekbone. See that little shimmer and shine? I don't like to do too much, sis, but... Just a little bit where you, you know, you glowy, rosy, all it ain't. Now, lastly, I'm going to be taking my Beauty Supply Store pencil and lining my lips. Like such. Okay, girl, so now that I have my lips lined, my eyes are popping. We're going to go ahead and go in with another one of Miss Via's lip glosses. Um, I will be putting her link down below as well so you guys can find her. Um, but I'm going to be using one of the more pink type sheer glosses. It's called Malibu. Uh, Malibu. <laughs> Not Malibu. Malibu. Get it right, sis. So I'm going to be using Malibu and adding that on. Like such and like so. Okay. Yes, I love this color because you see, as you see, it gives that perfect, like it gives you the pink, but not too much. Now I'm just gonna kind of rub that in like that, but then I'm gonna go ahead and top it one more time with another gloss. Or a coat of gloss. I'm just gonna go in with another one of Via's glosses. This is the more clear gloss. Um, the name is Get Lippy, and it says it's a lip plumper. So I'm just going to be. It's more like I said, like clear. So just because I like my lips, nice and swapping, sweetie. Yes. Okay, and voila, this is the final look. Okay. My lips are nice and popping as you can see yes i'm loving this gloss i'm loving the eyes so again so with that being said we're gonna go ahead and finish out with our master fix face studio spray by maybelline i'm gonna just spray this all over my face to go ahead and set it up by set it up i mean wet it up <laughs> Whew, feels refreshing so this is the final look swallowing I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you guys had fun talking with me. Um, this is just a quick little nice summary beat. You know what I'm saying? If you do have the shirt, if you, you know, just want to go out, you got something pink, a little bit of tints of gold, this would be a perfect look. It's awesome. It's shopping. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment below. Let me know if you're loving this look and let me know if you try it out yourself. Manifest Queen, period poo. See y'all next time. Bye-bye.